Alright guys, finally, Resident Evil Remake finally downloaded, or Resident Evil HD Remaster. I don't know, for some reason my internet started having issues, so it kept interrupting the connection. So, like the Resident Evil Zero video, that should already be up by the time this is up. It's going to be about 10 minutes of gameplay. And, I gotta say guys, this is my favorite Resident Evil game, and to finally have this, you know, without remote play or anything... To be able to actually play this game in handheld mode is something that I have been wanting for so long. So to actually have it happen is a dream come true, honestly. This game defines survival horror, in my opinion, and it still stands the test of time. This game is beautiful and just plays so damn well, especially with the new control scheme. And uh, it just it's just amazing. It really is. So, I don't know if I mentioned this in the other videos, but the so they do have achievements just like the other versions. Um, it will it mimics the PlayStation and Xbox achievements and Steam achievements, but there's no actual like achievement score. It'd be cool if these were unlocked as profile icons, because I'd totally rock the Jill one. That'd be great. Um, yeah, this would be a pretty cool profile icon, but I don't know if that's even something. That'd be really cool. Either way, the real only difference with the HD version is there's two new outfits. One for Chris and one for Jill. The BSA outfit, so it mimics their Lost in Nightmare outfits from the Resident Evil 5 DLC, which look really great, even the face models. And uh, you're also able to... There's leaderboards, you know, those type of things. And also uh, Gallery, which you can rewatch the opening cutscene and all the endings once you have unlocked them. And a uh, new control scheme, as I said. Resident and uh, the camera also moves, kind of like how Resident Evil Zero does, whenever you, you know, move further in a specific angle. Um, I'm going to... So, I know a lot of people get confused by this. This, be, this means normal. This means easy. This means very easy. Uh, considering... Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me, a new thing they've added in this version was a very easy difficulty. So normally it's, you know, there's no very easy. So it's in this version, but we're going to go, of course, with normal. If I could go with hard, that's what I would do. And see, so you can immediately choose the BSA outfits, which is cool. There are unlockable outfits. If anyone has any questions about this specific game, if they need any help, I already have walkthroughs up of this, zero, two, re, uh, four, all of them on my channel already. And I will be doing a, a Switch specific one, which I'll probably make into one video. And we're all gonna skip this opening cutscene because it's quite long and I kind of more so wanna focus on showcasing the gameplay. I will show some cutscenes. And also I apologize in advance, you may hear Sounds from the outside, um, from the window, so. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. And you can see me a little bit. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Wesker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. I'm really hoping that they port 2, 3, the original 2 and 3 in Code Veronica, so you can, and also 5 and 6, just so you can have the full complete collection. Because I always believe that with every new console iteration, you know, generation or iteration, whatever, there's someone who's brand new to whatever the series is or whatever, so for someone to get into Resident Evil now, you're able to play on the Switch Zero remake Revelations 1 and 2. And four, but you're, there is a big gap. There's more games. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's.
so far I'm noticing no frame rate dips. It is 30 FPS, and uh, I think it's 1080p even in handheld mode. It's beautiful. So this game's got quite a bit of content. There's a hard difficulty when unlock as well. Well, there, there you go. Some loading issues right there. <laughs> I say, uh, you know, everything's perfect, and then it happens. I don't want to get to the gameplay aspect, so it's kind of let's get the cutscenes here. The opening has, oops, let me see that. Opening has a lot of cutscenes, so I'm trying to play a little bit more than watch stuff. I feel like that's the more interesting thing. I am limited to 10 minutes on my current recording setup, so I apologize for that. Uh, due to it, basically, if I want to have higher quality, it will split the video uh, from once it hits a certain file size, which is around 10 minutes, and I would much rather be able to do this all in one video. I was doing a, a speed writing technique there. <laughs> Can't really do it with the handgun equipped though. Thanks. Okay. Now that we finally skipped the opening cutscenes, I've got about three minutes left. So let's try to get a little bit of actual gameplay in here. So the special thing about Jill is that she gets a lockpick and she has two more inventory spaces than Chris does. But she takes damage way faster in terms of like going down a caution damage and all those much quicker than Chris does. Also her knife isn't as good and I believe in general like with any gunshot she takes longer to kill enemies. So those are things to keep in mind. And I am playing with the pro control obviously you can tell I'm not you know touching the switch. Got the pro control here. Which is an amazing controller. One of my favorite shots ever in this game. Just the lighting looks beautiful. And the thing is, it looked this good on the GameCube back in 2002. It doesn't look good just because it's the HD version. It's always looked good. This is, like I said, the definitive survival horror game. If you want a really good survival horror game, you play Resident Evil Remake. Also, the cool thing for those who, again, I'm trying to speak to this uh, for those who are probably playing this for the first time. The analog, you always use the new alternative scheme because the analog is the new scheme, like the one that's like Double May Cry where you can move like this. But the D-pad still serves as tank control, so you get two in one. So you might as well just uh, use the alternate one. Grab the arrowhead here. See if I can... Uh, do some good dodging here. Watch, I'm recording, so I'm probably not going to be able to get it. Yeah, you want them to do the fake out like that, so you can easily run past. And with the alternate control scheme, it's so much easier to do. Yeah, we're coming up on time, pretty much. Alright, so I'll pretty much just wrap this up here. I'll go ahead and shoot this zombie because we're not going to save this anyway. And I kind of just want to see how this is. Huh. Come on. Okay, I've got to admit, the way the achievements come up are really cool. I've got 40, uh, 20 seconds left, so I just want to say thanks for watching, guys. This was a little preview of that. I will be doing full guides for the Switch version. Stay tuned. I've also got a video for Zero and the unboxing. I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, and have an awesome day.